today's meeting of the Webster County Board of Supervisors. The first item on the agenda today is to approve the previous meeting minutes. Mr. Chairman, I'll invite a one. I'll second. A motion to second. Are there any discussion on that? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item number two is to see the place on file for any repairs. And I have none turned in at this time today, so we'll move on. Item number three is to receive the place on file wage increase for Trim Lewis for 22 dollars per hour, effective August 4th, 2014. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item number three. Second. Motion for second. Are there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item number four. Approve and authorize the chair to sign an addiction recovery month proclamation proclaiming September 20, 2014 as National Recovery Month in Webster County. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item four. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Um, we have a, we have a gentleman visiting today from CFR who we've asked to read the proclamation and present to the board. So if you come forward and identify yourself and welcome. Thank you very much for making you feel welcome. Uh, my name is Sean O'Connor. I'm a prevention specialist with Community Family Resources. Uh, also with me is Jim Clavin, who is our residential supervisor uh, to add support to the Community Family Resources as well. Uh, uh, as was already said, September is uh, National Recovery Month. Uh, this proclamation, which is uh, uh, what the Board of Supervisors has done since previous years, so it's not like it's anything new, but uh, uh, of course, but uh, uh, I'll go ahead and just read the uh, proclamation as it's written. Uh, <clears throat> the Addiction Recovery Month Proclamation. Whereas behavior health is an essential part of health and one's overall wellness, and whereas prevention of mental and or substance abuse disorders works, treatment is effective, and people recover in our area and around the nation, and whereas preventing and overcoming mental and or substance abuse disorders is essential to achieving healthy lifestyles both physically and emotionally, and whereas we must encourage relatives and friends of people with mental and or substance abuse disorders to implement pre preventative measures, recognize the signs of a problem, and guide those in need of appropriate treatment and recovery support services. And whereas in 2011, 3.8 million people received specialty treatment for a substance abuse disorder, and more than 31.6 million adults aged 18 or older received services for mental disorders, according to the 2011 National Survey of Drug Use and Health. Given the serious nature of this public health problem, we must continue to reach the millions more who need help. And whereas, to help more people achieve and sustain long-term recovery, the Western County Board of Supervisors and Community and Family Resources invite all residents of Western County to participate in National Recovery Month. And now, therefore, we, by virtue of the authority vested in us by the laws of Iowa, we hereby proclaim the month of September 2014 as National Recovery Month in Webster County, and call upon the people of the county to observe this month with appropriate programs, activities, and ceremonies to support this year's recovery month. And then uh, we're okay. for our three years. <laughs> All right, any comments from the board? Comments from the public? We, uh, we do have a recovery month event that is coming up on the 20th of September at Olson Park. Uh, there are, uh, uh, it's going to be from, uh, uh, from two to four at, at the park. And there will be, uh, there's going to be a whole lot of different events and we're going to have uh, even, uh, I guess, even karaoke, uh, spin art, face painting, yoga. Uh, the Lions Club is going to be a really good as well. Uh, it's going to be a very family-friendly event, um, so we uh, encourage and invite everybody to come attend that. Uh, there is a uh, there is a similar uh, event going on in the front of our agency in Ames the week after that at Ada Ames Park in North Edge of Ames as well. So we're doing this kind of stuff all around our service area. Um, but I uh, just want to pass the word out about that. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, seeing no other comments, I will call for a motion. All those in favor. Uh, Addiction Recovery Month Proclamation. I would say not. I am opposed. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Moving on to item number five. Approve, approve request to sign tax sale certificate number E11004, parcel number 
known as 1107 Beak Street, Gallery, to the town of Gallery. Mr. Chairman, I'll let it I'll second. A motion second. Any discussion on the sign up? Yes, Mr. Chairman, this is part of the county contract tax. It's the city of Gallery who's interested in this property as a development property. And <coughs> did not get the, the exact time. I think it was being left fairly soon. So that means it would be constructed right there after somebody probably the next 30 seconds.
would be uh, essentially almost all dump trucks, all motor graders, and uh, uh, then we, by having uh, the, the, the flexibility, we could wire other vehicles, and when uh, during winter months we'd have on some vehicles, and summer months we'd have some other vehicles. So like, that's certainly permissible. So uh, like uh, wheel loaders and, and, and uh, mowers and so forth. <coughs> that was the, uh, you know, again, it, I, I keep repeating myself, but we were looking, trying to, you know, look at operating costs and uh, employee <coughs> driver productivity and safety. So and I think there was a couple of emails that I threw in there from the Dallas County and Hoover County that they gave their response upon my request of how they view the system as a Do you find rolling out to all the vehicles then? Excuse me? Upon successful uh, implementation, are you looking at rolling that out to all the vehicles down the road or expanding it? Yeah, I, I don't know why you can answer that at this time. I think we could you know, give, it a, give it a try uh, based on what we're, our core unit, our core vehicles, and then we'll have to, I think, analyze it. Uh, obviously, you can always add uh, add at any time, I, I guess. But I think uh, I want to look at a three-year period of, of, uh, of 50, uh, 50 units, and uh, with some versatility into taking the equipment out during their downtime and putting it in the you know, like motors during their summer months and so forth. And I will truly attempt to provide you with the examples and input as we're using the system and uh, see where if we've been successful or not. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I can see this being beneficial. The best benefit is the road graders on the truck. The road graders especially make the comments about, you know, I haven't seen the road grader pass by place in six months or two months. Or he did go by but he's going 30 mile an hour. You know, with this little track, when he was there, what time he was there, and how fast he was going. Yeah, I sat in on one of those meetings and, and really was sold on the product, you know, uh, and those were the, the questions I had were pretty well covered why we were only doing 50, but, and, and I do remember that your guys were going to learn how to wire them, were they? Yeah, so, yeah. So that's an interesting fact that maybe we're only doing 50 of 85, but we're going to move it from a summer vehicle to a winter vehicle, things right. like summer. Right, good point. Yeah, I want to make it clear. I think I said in my memo that uh, uh, we need to buy the hardware, but we will install. It's not that difficult. It's fairly easy. You, you just got to access the correct component and pop it in, basically, if it doesn't apply. But, and so, it's, so we would save the cost from hiring a third party to install it. But, so we buy the hardware. We, I want to make it clear we buy the hardware and we own it. And then we're on a three-year agreement, and I, by our, by our uh, investigation, we believe that the rate is very, very, very competitive. And uh, I guess you never know about technology, but I'd love to believe that if we would just go one year and then we'd like to continue. I think I, I'm very certain that the rate would go up. Uh, so that's kind of why up to a three-year is what we're starting to the other thing that I took away from that meeting is the cost savings. I mean, this is a program that should show, which will be interesting a year from now, say, you'll have the statistics to, to show that we're saving money. We're not, I it will tell you what one of them that I caught on to was idling vehicles. Yeah. You know, it's a tremendous waste of gas just idling the vehicles, and, and Randy will be able to tell and work with his people to do that. There's some road, road assistance things. And, so there, there was a number of things that should save us. It would be interesting to see what it does at the end. But, but it really looked like there's a good potential for this, you know, to pay for a good practice. Yes. I mean, a comment, I had input from you, board members and stuff, but you know, you had some good input that said, that, well, we, some of these things we're trying to correct should, you know, it ought to be done automatically. Still, the best laid plans, and you know, idle time is a biggie. Uh, it was brought to our attention that you know, uh, I think I think there's a, uh, a lot of diesel engines. I think it was fallacy that you let them run, and, and some of the idle idle times are avoidable. They go through the pit and load themselves, and then three more trucks come in, and the one person loading his own 
one loads the others, if I have the parameters set in such a way, it will pop up idle time, uh, exceeded idle time allowance and all that, and then there's probably good reasons for it some of the time. But I think uh, idle time is really a killer for wastefulness. And then you can track, you know, if there's a, 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 a key connection, you can, yeah. I, this, point, this data will be backed up, so I mean, if uh, somebody would come in two weeks from now and say, you know, I can review the information and I can determine exactly where that person's at. And, and you know, on a rare occasion, we do have, uh, being, we're accused of property damages and all that sort of thing. I mean, with the systems, you know, there's a lot of little things I can't really, you know, I have that long, 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 long list of things that potentially can help us with. So, but I guess one way to find out is to try it and, uh, and uh, I'll report back on a regular basis. Okay. Any other questions for Randy? Comments from the public? Seeing none, all in favor of uh, authorizing the county engineer to sign an agreement with electronic engineering, you see the county say nine. I am opposed. Item number nine passes. Next item on the agenda is the citizen's opportunity to address the board with items that are not on the agenda. Seeing nobody jumping up, we'll move on to board of supervisor committee reports. Uh, just that we'll be attending the proposed EPA proposal on August of the United States meeting tomorrow. This time, I'll call for a motion to adjourn. So, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.